guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do something a little bit different. Today I wanted to do a book review, Burned, by Ellen Hopkins. For those of you who know me, you know that I am a huge fan of reading. I just find it as a great escape. Reading is probably one of my favorite hobbies. So I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about this book. First off, I want to go by saying if you've never read an Ellen Hopkins book, something worth noting is that she writes in verse. So there are some pages that have very little writing like this. Uh, I didn't know that. I never uh, read a book written in verse. So when I first picked up a book by Ellen Hopkins, I was like, wow, that's a really thick book. But you look inside and there's, um, you know, it's not as many, it's not as big as it seems. But it flows really nicely. Ellen Hopkins is my favorite author. I've read every book she's ever written. And I've liked them all except for one. So let's get right into it. This is about a 16-year-old girl, Patton. She was raised in a very religious but abusive home. She's Mormon, and her dad is very strict. He views women as nothing but um, the, like, basically servants of the man, that they are inferior to the man. Their roles are cooking, cleaning. They're not allowed to have a job. Uh, their job is to produce babies. So, um, Patton, she is a typical 16-year-old girl. You know, she just wants to live her life. She's questioning things like, is this really God's plan? Like, am I really good for nothing other than popping out babies? I don't know if this is right for me. She ends up dating a guy who doesn't treat her right. She is found in a compromised position by her dad who threatens her. So she, um, through a series of unfortunate events, a couple, um, typical, I wouldn't say typical, but Teenage tantrums, she gets sent off to her aunt's house uh, to, I guess, straighten out. She doesn't want, her dad, her dad doesn't want to deal with her, so she's sent off to live with her aunt. Her aunt is less than traditional. She's not Mormon. She doesn't have these strict rules. She offers nothing but love and support to Patton. While Patton is there, she meets a guy, Ethan, and they do fall in love. Um, that's all I'm going to say about this without giving away too much. It was just, a, it was a really good book. So if you haven't read it, I'm going to tell you stop this video right now because I'm going to spoil things. This book, I remember reading it for the first time. I was 15 years old, and I stayed up late to finish it, and I was so mad. This book, I remember reading it for the first time. I was 15 years old, and I stayed up late to finish it, and I was so mad at the ending that I remember tossing the book on the floor and wanting to cry because she had finally found true love. She had found out that she was pregnant and her her dad found out and he was coming to kill them, basically. Um, they were trying to escape. They were in a car. They were trying to escape and they got into a car accident. It was snowy and... The guy that she fell in love with, Ethan, and her baby did not make it. I was so mad. I I couldn't even believe it. I was shocked. My 
jaw was dropped. So that's overall, it's it's a really good book. Uh, it's probably one of my favorites at, from Ellen Hopkins, and she has like twelve or something. So just if you don't like happy endings, maybe this isn't the one for you. But if you're still listening this far, you've probably read it, or I hope so, because I don't want to just spoil that for you. It does have a sequel, so I am in the middle of rereading it. I read it once, Smoke, so once I finish reading it, I will review that one as well. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. Bye!